Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. Thanks for joining me. Today's video is so much fun. Wait till you see what we're going to make today. I'm so excited. So this is actually DIY number one through nine. <laughs> That's how many items we're going to make. So using different size lids from the Dollar Tree, I used, um, like a little pepper shaker lid i used a craft lid and then i used like their jumbo container lid um works perfect and then just different paint so we're going to paint each lid in black yes we are going for that galvanized look so i painted the inside black i painted the outside black and then i just came in and this is perfect personal preference here you come in with different color grays or white or any way you want to do this and I also always pick kind of a rusted color as well and then I'll just come in and start dabbing the medium gray and the white or the light gray once it's dry I'll come back in with and make it all rusty and that's where this is just a per personal I can't see that word today personal preference of how you want it to look So I got a pack of these little wooden pieces from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what they're called because I took them out of the package. Don't know what they're used for, but I liked the shape. I liked how one end was fatter. And I thought that would be perfect for this little tray. Yes, that's what we're doing. Three-tiered tray in the galvanized look. And I was so excited about this project. So I took some burnt umber and I rubbed it on those little, we're going to call them sticks. <laughs> and then I came in and did the galvanized look on these lids. I think adding that brown burnt umber to this really gives that rusted vintage look, which I absolutely love. So now we're going to assemble our three tiered tray. And I'm using super glue because this baby's too cute to fall apart. And <laughs> we want it to stay together. And I super glued the um, little stick. <laughs> to the bottom of the tray and then I just kept adding the different layers so we have a bigger lid a medium lid a small lid and I did it in that order and went up then I grabbed two beads once I got to the top to make just a little handle for the top of this tiered tray I don't know about you guys but this is probably my favorite mini so far because it's so dang cute For the topper, I just used hot glue. I think hot glue will be fine. I'm not going to be picking it up from the top, but you can always use super glue or E6000 to do this part as well. I got you, and you got me too. And there it is. Oh my gosh, this thing is so tiny five inches tall so cute so i think we need to make some minis to really decorate this tiered tray now i wanted to make little flower pots i had some copper penny which is the color kind of of a flower pot and i was trying to think what could make little flower pots then i found those wire twists they sell them at lowe's and it's just that twist that you put on the ends of wires when you're doing electrical work and they look just like little pots so i thought I grabbed a bag of orange and it was kind of a, it was a small size, but they had gray also, which was an even smaller size for another project. How cute are those? <laughs> it has the edge just like a flower pot at the top 
it goes down into like a triangular shape like a flower pot oh my gosh perfect for little minis then I grabbed some floral and I just trimmed it down, put some hot glue inside those um, little buckets and hot glued my floral down. This one, I can't remember what this flower is called, but I wanted a flower pot that was a flower. I wanted a succulent and then I wanted something that resembled a cactus. So I just went into my floral stash and grabbed what I thought resembled all three of those. I just think that looks like a cactus. <laughs> I think that's so cute. And then I had a succulent already, so I just cut the very tip of it off, and I'm gonna hot glue that to the little pot to make a little succulent. How cute is that? While at a recent trip to Dollar Tree, I found these little glow-in-the-dark beads. And I thought these would make cute little planters. So I grabbed some more greenery and I just put it in that little bead. I didn't even need hot glue. And then I had three cute little planters. I'm showing you two here, but I actually made three. And then you can get four little chalkboards for a dollar. And these things are glued on. This one came apart easily i couldn't get the clasp off but it the backing came off easily the next one no i could not get the back off but that's okay we always improvise when things come little glitches you just improvise i printed off this cute little mason jar light and then i just fit it to size and we're just making a little mason jar picture out of this chalkboard mini chalkboard for another decor piece for our three-tiered tray I also um, traced around just a plain white piece of printer paper and actually put it on the back too to finish the look off so that you weren't seeing the green on the back of this. So easy to turn those little chalkboards into little pictures and you can just print off anything you want. And like I said, the second one I couldn't get off, but it was a happy accident because I couldn't get it off. I started just trying to take the clip off and in taking the clip off, I realized how cool the spring is in these little clips and that the spring could be glued back on the top of it and mimic a little hanger. And that just worked out perfectly. Again, I printed off a little mini image and just using a glue stick, put this on the chalkboard. When I find an image I like on Google Images, I just save it to my computer, resize it. In the very first box in the resize, I always make 100. It seems to work perfect for almost any mini. How cute is that using the spring as a hanger? I mean, I, I'm an like mini heaven <laughs> my family keeps teasing me because now everything I see I'm like oh I can make that into a mini <laughs> I'm going crazy <laughs> but it's so much fun now I took some back black paint and since the image I printed off was black around the edges I'm just blending it in with the chalkboard and I'm actually painting the whole chalkboard as well so Otherwise, you would just see the black paint going around the image. But if you blend in while painting the whole chalkboard, it really kind of blends it in and makes a perfect little mini sign for your tiered tray. If you add a small little bead glued to the back of these, they stand up perfect in the tray and you don't even need to glue it down. 
So I found these also at Dollar Tree and they're little bunny crayons and I thought that would be so cute for Easter and they're the perfect size and they come in six different colors. So I'm going to use green. I also found in the fairy garden this cute little windmill which is also the perfect size. So DIY, we're going number 10 because we already did nine <laughs> for the tiered tray. But I love enamelware, like shell trays, I guess you would call it a tray. I'm gonna mimic the one I already have at home using, now this is unusual, but I'm using a Scrabble piece, the base of one of those little Christmas trees. And when my husband and son went to the shooting range, I went around in crafter style and grabbed all of the casings because I thought I could use them for a project. <laughs> so we're actually using those casings. I took another little um, lid from like a salt and pepper shaker mason jar that Dollar Tree sells, and I gave it two coats of white. And then I took some Arrow Barrel paint and I painted the Scrabble piece and that little tree base that was hot glued to the top of the Scrabble piece. Now the shell casings, I just hot glued to the top of that tree base and it made it look like brass, like it's a little brass. What am I going for? What is this called? I keep going blank. It's a little tray little enamel tray. I put two of the casings together because in a shooting range you can find all different sizes <laughs> and there's a small and a medium and they fit perfect inside of each other. That's going to give us our little stand to put the lid on. Then I just flip the lid upside down and I hot glued that little stand to the bottom of that lid and then went around it with black paint to give that enamel wear look. And oh my goodness, wait till you see the mini one compared to the one that I have on my um, kitchen table. The one on my kitchen table I purchased from Tractor Supply and the mini one is so adorable. <laughs> And you can do this any way you want. If you wanted rusted around this, you could use like a brown paint. I used a black to give that enamel wear look. And there's my inspiration and there's my little mini. <laughs> so stinking cute. That little mini is probably an inch tall. It is adorable. I had so much fun doing this video. You guys love tiered trays and I really wanted to do a galvanized one. And I think that this is perfect. It's so easy. It'll go perfect with your mini collection. And all the little mini decor that's on it is adorable. This doesn't cost a lot of money to make. And it's so unique and different. And like I said at the beginning, this is probably my favorite minis so far. I am just having so much fun making these minis for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps my channel out a lot. And hit that bell if you'd like to see future notifications for more minis. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. And I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. And I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye y'all.